The Education Department has gotten the President's nod to hold limited face-to-face -face classes in low-risk areas. However, the government admits that stringent measures have to be in place. Maricel Halili joins us live from Mandaluyong to give us the details. Maricel, what did the President say exactly? Sean, President Rodrigo Duterte has approved the limited face-to-face -face classes in low-risk areas. This after the Department of Education presented its proposal before the President during his meeting with the members of the Interagency Task Force last night. Face classes might see the light of day come January next year or the third quarter of the academic year. But the Education Department's proposal comes with conditions. The school has to be in an area under modified general community quarantine, follows stringent health standards, and has conducted pilot testing and inspection. Deputy Secretary Leonor Briones, in her proposal to the president, said that there must be a coordination between the DepEd, the local government, and local health authorities. We rely, for example, um, heavily on online learning, then you will have equity problems for those who may not have access to digital uh, equipment. The setup imposes stringent health standards like no face mask, no entry, regular hand washing, regular disinfection in school premises, and checking of temperature and respiratory symptoms. Classroom size will also be factored in to ensure physical distancing. A small room might be limited to 15 to 20 students per class. And then uh, they have to be uh, in, in, in good state of, of repair. They are safe kasi dumaanan ng mga bagyo, may lindol, may potok ng vulkan. And... The president okayed the proposal, saying he is with Secretary Briones on this. But with cases still increasing and with no vaccine still in sight, he said social distancing should be strictly imposed and wearing of masks implemented. A little uh, shame would put them on notice forever. But if you are uh, brought to the police station and detained there, that would give you a lesson for all time. Given these new policies and proposals, the chief executive once again asked the public for patience. Marunong ang Diyos. Alam niya hindi tayo niya pababayan. Especially Pilipinas kasi Kristiyanos tayo. The president also asked Health Secretary Francisco Duque if every Filipino can be tested for COVID-19. Duque said it's highly improbable, but that over a million have already been tested. He said that the target is to attain 10 million by 2021. Sean, President Duterte reiterated that he is willing to sell some of the country's properties to make sure that the government has enough funds to buy vaccine against COVID once it's available and the face masks for the public. Sean? All right, thank you for that update on the school schedules. Maricel Halili joining us live from Mandaluyong.